Here is the new Mazda Patent. Let's analyze it in detail to understand this engine that seems simple but is not. First, we have an engine with camshafts, intake, and exhaust valves. The ports were removed and the crankcase can be used to store oil. It basically looks like a four-stroke engine. We also have the belt-driven compressor as in the two-stroke diesel. When the piston reaches bottom dead center, the intake valve opens. And even though the piston goes up, the compressor forces air to enter. The intake valve closes, compress, and the direct injector adds fuel at 700 bar or 10,000 PSI. The spark is fired and the combustion drives the piston downward. When all the energy of the gases has been used, the exhaust valve opens. Thousands later, the intake valve opens. The compressor forces fresh air in and the exhaust gases exit through the correct place. The intake port passes above the camshaft and points toward the cylinder wall to direct airflow. The intake valve housing is also special with its shape. It opens the airflow towards the cylinder wall to create a loop and improve scavenging. The intake and exhaust process is carried out at the same time. With the help of the compressor, it is basically possible to convert the four-stroke engine into a two-stroke. Now, the camshafts rotate at the same speed as the crankshaft, while in a four-stroke, it's half the speed. The engine also incorporates additional technology such as variable camshafts, which allows an EGR system. Under low load conditions, the exhaust valve closes early and prevents exhaust gases from escaping. This exhaust gas stays in the cylinder completing the volume and increasing compression, giving more power, reducing pumping losses, and keeping compression high. The high temperature of the already burned gases also allows the engine to run without using the spark plug, since, as in all diesel engines, the mixture is injected at the last moment and ignites due to compression and temperature. The injection pressure is greater than 700 bar, three times higher than a gasoline engine and close to the diesel injection pressure. This mode dramatically increases engine performance at low load, delivering more miles per gallon. Something that must be respected in an engine is the AFR since it ensures good performance. AFR stands for air fuel ratio. In this case, it's 14.7 to 1 which means that we need 14.7 parts of air for each part of fuel. Therefore, instead of entering new air into the engine and keeping AFR OK using fuel, we can retain already burned exhaust gases. Remember that these gases are inert. This means that even if we have a large engine, we can fill almost everything with burned exhaust gas. Then, only a minimal part of clean air, a pinch of fuel, and finally obtain performance from a much smaller engine. Now, in full power situation, the camshaft places in full scavening position and take out all the exhaust gases. The cylinder is renewed with fresh air. Fuel injection starts earlier to mix well. In this mode, the spark plug is used to ignite the mixture. Basically, this engine incorporates Mazda's Skyactiv technology in an improved way, which uses excessive ignition timing and takes advantage of knocking, maximizing power. In summary, Mazda's two-stroke engine combines everything. Valves like a four-stroke engine that allow precise control of the gas flow. Diesel EGR system which reuses gases to keep compression high and lower emissions. One spark per RPM like two-stroke engines, doubling the use of the cylinder and reducing the size of the engine. No oil burned. Air compressor like two-stroke diesel. Skyactiv system to increase the performance of each drop of gasoline and burn it as if it were diesel, achieving more efficiency. And finally, a very high compression ratio close to 16 to 1. We hope that this engine begins to be sold soon so we can hear its sound. And who knows, it may sound like this. Like a V8? Since it has twice as many ignitions as a four-cylinder. Or like a two-stroke. or like both at the same time. Do you think it will delay the arrival of electric